guys, welcome to the shop. It's Joe here. We're out here hacking and whacking on a new piece of machinery today. It's the bandsaw. And uh, as you will see, somebody uh, graciously donated a treadmill to my cause. And so uh, we stripped out all the goodies and uh, I decided I was going to put the motor on my bandsaw because it would be kind of neat to have variable speed without messing with the pulleys. Um, the motor that I got that was on my bandsaw was a one-third horsepower induction motor and um, in order to get the different speeds you had to, you know, they had step pulleys on it. Well, it still does, but I don't have to change them anymore. But um, now what I got is a one horsepower treadmill motor on there, which has plenty of plenty of, of guts to move the thing, and um, it's variable speed, so I don't have to change any pulleys. And you know, if I want to cut something steel, I can turn it down. If I want to cut aluminum, I can turn it up. So worked out pretty good, um, and. Uh, Right now I get the well, it's raining. Right now I got the treadmill controller on there, which kind of stinks. Um, I had a uh, sixteen dollar Amazon special from uh, overseas on it uh, <laughs> for about ten minutes, and then uh, it nuked. So uh, <laughs> I know what's wrong with it. I'm gonna fix it. It's a nice package, even though uh, the design was real bush league. But there was enough stuff there for me to rearrange it so that it worked properly. And all I'm waiting for now is a big MOSFET for it. So we'll put that thing back on there and we'll show it to you in like a doodads or something. But right now we got the, the treadmill controller on there and it's working fine. So um, hope you enjoy the video. and. Uh, Thanks again to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. It um, gives me uh, incentive to record some of the stuff that I do out here in the shop for you guys. And hope you enjoy it. If you uh, have any suggestions on uh, what you'd like to see in the upcoming video, let me know. And we'll put it up there for you. I was driving around the other day and... Somebody graciously decided to donate one of these things to the cause. I've already taken the cover off it. And, uh, it works. Come on, baby. There it goes. So we're going to rip this sucker apart and get all this good stuff out of it. Well, we ripped out all the extraneous crap all out of that thing. And wired it up. And now, she's working. Mm. Cool. So let's see, we got our motor thing here. Got a really nice flywheel. Got a belt. Got a couple of nice rollers with bearings in them. Got some steel. So yeah, not bad. Um, Cut the rest of this stuff up and throw it in the scrap box and who knows what we'll make out of it. I've been thinking of making a sander or something out of this. We'll see. Okay. So how sick is this, people? I think that motor will pretty much bolt right on there. So 
So what I'm going to do with this treadmill thing is I'm going to make a variable speed bandsaw out of it so I don't have to change pulleys anymore and right now I'm going to use this controller just to get it going and I ordered one off of Amazon which is much more suited to this. It doesn't have the the uh, su the um, the delay when you turn up the speed. It doesn't have to be set to zero when you turn it on. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start uh, hacking and whacking on my saw here, and uh, you know we'll have a variable speed bandsaw pretty soon. Stand by. Well, let's see what happens here. Come on, baby. Pretty slow. I like it. Guess that would be for real hard steel. Alright, let's see how it cuts. Hang on. Okay, so I got a piece of like 3 quarter inch 1018 in there. And uh, we're going to set in a nominal speed here. Come on. This is, that's pretty reasonable. Didn't even slow down. I like that. <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, this thing is all kind of haywired right now. Um, when that new controller comes, I'll hook it up right so that it shuts off automatically and so that the speed's right. I think I'm probably going to have to get, uh, I don't know, a different belt or something. I gotta, this is a little too fast right now. Okay, so I found a a pulley that works with this and uh, it's right in the right range now so I hate this delay pretty slow Alright, we 
we have our little motor controller and it's hooked up so let's see what this little speed pot does even does braking Not bad for a $16 thing. Supposedly good for 10 amps, which at 110 volts is a kilowatt, which would be plenty enough for this. Yeah, it's making a little heat. So yeah, we're going to have to put this in a box and get it all wired up nice and keep the chips out of it. But uh, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna get some better pulleys. These this pulley right here is about the right ratio, but I don't need step pulleys anymore, so I'm just gonna get regular regular stuff on there. Alright, so there it is, the treadmill bandsaw. <laughs> well, believe it or not, I got the treadmill controller back on here again because the uh what is it? Rio Rand uh, speed controller from Amazon died. But I know what's wrong with it. I got a piece coming in the mail. It's a MOSFET. So uh, you know, I had to mount this, which is a big inductor because. Um, this uh, treadmill controller runs at 60 hertz, it chops the AC at 60 hertz, so they need a big inductor in series with the motor to keep it from going nuts. Um, my uh, controller that I'm going to put on this thing for the final version, I got it running at 7 kilohertz now, so I won't need that inductor and um, it's small enough to mount right where that inductor is so what I'll eventually do is just enclose this whole thing with a sheet metal cover but this is what I got right now and it works so this is one of the annoying things about this uh, controller is you have to turn it down to zero before you can turn it back up so it'll start in a second here. Alright, so that's pretty slow. So that's what I got going on right now. And uh I got this thing as far away from the chip generation stuff as possible. It ought to last, you know, a couple of couple of days, a week or so until I get the real controller back in here again. But there you go. There's the treadmill band saw. Let's watch it cut something. Hang on. Okay, it's got a piece of three quarter inch ten eighteen in there. And uh, I'm gonna turn up the knob now. automatic shut off cool so yep phase one we'll get phase two going when we get the uh, the good stuff see ya thanks for watching all right well the treadmill controller has been officially retired because 
took another look through my junk box and believe it or not I had the exact fit that this thing takes in my junk box so we put it in there and along with all the other mods that we hot rodded this thing with it is now bulletproof and functional so it's all hooked up to the saw And of course, the automatic shutoff works. So there you go. The project in the box. I have to uh, make a little cover for this. Keep all the chips out of it, and that'll give me a place to mount the speed pot. So, um,. Yeah, if you spend your $16 on a Rio Rand DC motor speed controller, and then you modify it so that it works, you, can, you too can have a variable speed bandsaw. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.